witches and spiritualists. Be careful with who you beef with on the internet. Because there's a lot of you guys that are not with the fuckery. There's a lot of you that are not with the extracurricular activities. A lot of you guys are just, I'll just burn this candle here. You know, I'll just do this. And, you know, okay, within a couple of days, and you know, it's going to manifest. This is how you think spell work manifests. See, some of you beef with people that got more experience than you. While you think things are just, things are, you know, going to be done within a couple of days or weeks if someone throws something at you, the person who has more experience will know this shit will not end. You have an expiration date in your head as when this spell or the the manifestation of it is supposed to hit you. But in reality, it's a process. A lot of you are children at this. You say, oh, I'm still here. I'm still here. Nothing has happened to me. The reality is, there is no end point to what will happen to you. There is no stop date. There is no date. The reality with most people is, that they don't realize that this is a step, this is a process. A process of becoming a living God. <laughs> but anyway, I don't need to go into detail about that, but let me straight from that and say, when someone hits you with spiritual work, it usually hits a person and keeps on growing and growing and growing and growing. It's usually, okay, this happens here. Boom. All right. This could be the person uh, hits their head on the, hits their head, you know, well, well, you know, while walking into a room whatsoever, right? Okay, that could be one thing. Then, next thing you know, okay, a couple of days later, okay, uh, let's just say they bang their toe into something. Then from there on, okay, in a progression. Then next thing you know, this person comes out of nowhere, he walks by a counter, and all of a sudden a knife cuts him, right? Then afterwards, okay, then that happens. Then, that, then this person runs into a situation where they get to an argument with this person. Okay, boom, next thing you know, they get to a job, and then, you know, weeks later, and then they get to a job. It doesn't end until, let me just go like this. Some seasoned spiritualists will hit you with some shit that won't stop until you're fucking dead. They can hit you with some work that will not stop until you are dead. While you're over here looking for an expiration date of what someone has done to you, that spiritualist in mind is sitting back like, I don't care if a year goes by, if two years go by, if three years go by, because I'm waiting I'm going to let this thing sit on you and take its toll on you until it's done with you. I've seen people that work with been on, right? And you see them go from being a healthy individual to a withered away, older per older looking person. Like some, some people, you even see the freaking, their, their, their eyes begin to sink in. Some look like they're not even here anymore. They're lost in space, suspended in animation. They're not even here anymore. See, this is the reality. Because I've seen spiritualists online. I've seen certain spiritualists that get hit instantly. And this is the thing about certain spell work. Also, is that this thing is so complex. Where you can see one thing can manifest after some time with one person. Then it hits a person. And then another person hits instantly. There's a time when spiritualists online were dropping left and right. There was a time... You know, where spirituals was just dropping left and right. One dies uh, in, a, in a house accident where one house catches on fire, where their house caught on fire, two people end up dying. Then afterwards, another spiritualist end up dying. Then you have another one, and you know, that flew to Africa, and he ended up dying and stuff like that. See, listen, let me tell you something. This thing is very wicked because when a person throws work at you, sometimes there can be collateral damage. Sometimes, see, the thing is, a lot of you guys don't understand that when a person throws work at you sometimes, sometimes it may not necessarily hit you directly. It may hit people directly. I mean, it can hit people around you in order to get to you before it gets to you. So you start seeing people dropping in the midst of this. 
See, a lot of you guys are not experienced at doing this. So you get on social media and you talk all this, you know, I'm spiritual and this and that until shit really hits you. And when the shit really hits you, you don't even realize that shit has hit you. Because you was expecting it one way. You was expecting a car accident and then it hit you another way. You're, you're prepared. You got your, you know, you got your seatbelt on. You know, you got, you got, you got a fender put in front of your truck. You know, to basically make sure that, you know, if I get to an accident, I'm safe. But now the spirit realizes what the fuck you're doing and it doesn't even hit you that way. It can hit you with gout in the leg. It can hit you with financial problems. It can hit you with your relationship is fucked up. I'm going to repeat that again for those in the back. It can hit you to the point where your relationship is fucked up. But anyway, but on another level. <laughs> Listen. You have to be aware and conscientious of who you be for online. Because unlike before, see, before I stepped on YouTube, things were different. I've seen spiritual beasts, right? Spiritual wars, and it'd be like spiritual uh, YouTubers going back and forth, right? And that's all it was, going back and forth. Nobody, you can tell nobody was throwing any work at one another. This era is different because... The dominating factor now on YouTube is different. The, 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 the terrain has changed where you actually have people that's really out here bent on a fuck shit. So for those that have been the uh, starlight, star bright, now they're getting knocked off the scene. And it's like someone said, if you don't walk with integrity, you're going to be exposed. And a lot of alleged spiritualists have recently been exposed. Exposed. So, I say this. It's not a game. You know, this is not, again, back around 2013. Because now you have people that's really with the fuck shit. That will do shit to you. That won't give a fuck about doing shit work on your kids. You got this type of level of people on the internet nowadays. And don't ask me how I know. This is not a fucking game. Just look at a lot of spiritualists. Let me just say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me put it up, put it right here. Look at a lot of spiritualists that have beefed with Wayward Renegade, right? Let's just say this. And this is not trying to kiss Wayward Renegade's ass, right? Because I don't fuck with her. And we never going to be cool. But I'll say this. Look at everyone that has beefed with Wayward Renegade, right? Look at them. Look at their channel. Shit, I need you to stop this video right now and go look at people that have beef with Wayward Renegade, right? Go look at their channel, right? Go look at what you read up about the people that have beef with Wayward Renegade and see what you see, right? 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 So this is what I'm saying to you. There's a lot of people out here, man. And, you know, shit, if you want to go look at people that have beef with in the past, right? Go look at them now. Go look at them now. They're either, uh, let's just say, missing in action, or they look shell-shocked, or they're in hiding. They're pretty much in hiding. I don't know why, but they're in hiding. I'm just speaking from what I see. So I just want to leave this video out here, and again, fuck way with Renegade. We ain't ever going to be cool, but I will give... Respect and props where it's due. I'm out of here.